Hi there Aries, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for December 21st to the 27th. And Aries, let's see what's on the cards for you as we get really close to closing out 2020. And on the 21st, Aries, we did have the great conjunction. We are now officially in the age of Aquarius, so we're going to see a lot of changes next year as we start integrating this energy. So there could be a lot of denser energy shaking up on the world stage next year. It will be very interesting to see as we kind of integrate that air sign energy. Now we'll be getting started with the Work Your Light Oracle and then drawing you an overarching tarot card from the Moonchild Tarot. And I'll then get out the tarot positions with the Rider Waite and using the Star Child Tarot as the clarifying deck. So let's see what we have, Aries, for the collective message for Aries, please. Aries, Aries, Aries. Hmm, I have just had the same card for Sagittarius. Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone, Aries. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So you might be becoming more aware that you're not alone and that potentially your spirit team is near. Angels, spirits, guides, ascended masters, past loved ones. Sometimes in times of change or when we really need guidance, they enter our realm and they are closer than what we think. Those moments that we get the the chill up the spine, the rush of goosebumps on the skin, we start seeing the angel numbers, we get, you know, synchronistic, synchronistic moments can mean that somebody from the spirit realm is trying to get your attention to tell you that maybe it's time to make a decision or there's something pivotal, a pivotal change upon you. So that could be something that you are experiencing, Aries. And the veil is very, very thin at the moment between dimensions because of what is happening with the energies. So this is the time that you really may, may feel that activity more than usual. Now let's get out your overarching tarot energy. Wow. My goodness, Aries, I have got the King of Cups. And I'm saying that because... For pretty much every sign that I'm doing the readings for, they're getting a king as their overarching energy. So I really feel like this is just, it says that it's time for us to step up into kingdom, our kingdom energy that is mature, you know, full of, you know, healthy boundaries and that kind of thing. Now this is the king of cups. So on top of that, this is about leading from the heart. Um, it's about using your intuition and your instincts. The King of Cups is about being very emotionally intelligent, grounded, being able to stay calm when emotions are high around us, when a decision needs to be made or something like that. Now this is the card of Scorpio in the Minor Arcana. You might be dealing with a key significant Scorpio person in your realm or this is you know an indication that it's time for you to embody more of the king of cups energy so let's see how that comes out so much king energy around me at the moment so drawing your areas the energy of the recent past i have got the moon which links to pisces in the major arcana and it really is about digging deep into the subconscious maybe secrets being revealed to you Let's go for the current or focus energy Aries. I've got two. I've got the Empress, the divine counterpart of your major arcana, the Emperor, uh, number three, and I've got Judgment. Okay. Wow. I just did Sagittarius reading. They didn't get you any major arcana, and now I've got three from three here for you guys. And getting out the outcome, result, and energy. So Judgment. It's a powerful energy, Aries. You've kind of had a few power readings lately. <laughs> I think last week's was like that as well. Can I have the outcome energy for Aries, please? Knight of Pentacles, laying a new foundation, planting new seeds, a new direction for you. Four of Cups. In the direction of your fulfillment it's time to go after that Aries don't slip backwards let's get the clarifying energies clarifying the moon that one yep 
The Lovers, another major arcana, number six, linking to Gemini. I have got the Ten of Cups with the Empress here. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. King of Cups again. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to get one more. Two of Cups. Sagittarius had that in the same position as well. And I've got the Page of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, which happens to be the, well, for me, it does link to Sagittarian energy, more so the Knight, but the Page can as well. So you might also be dealing with a Sagittarius person. Now I'm going to start here. I actually love this particular page of wands card and I'm I'm back to using my mixed um, decks here because I see different things in the imagery of these cards rather than if I use two Rider Waite decks. Now this page of wands she looks just over her shoulder in kind of like this melancholy nostalgia saying you know what it's been a great chapter I've journeyed a lot in this job, in this relationship, in this location, in this home. But now it is time for me to go through that stargate. It is time for me to go through the portal. It is time for me to step into the unknown, into my new chapter here. So that's what I see in this card. And that looks like, almost like a chrysalis that the caterpillar goes in to transform into the butterfly. I feel like you might be going through a metamorphosis or some kind of transformation here, Aries, rebirth, that kind of energy. The Page of Wands can also be um, good news. There could be a message coming in for you. It could be that truth revealed from the moon energy, maybe from your own subconscious or through somebody else. I'm also noticing that Akashic Records here is underneath that card, which is my card of predestiny here. So we have some kind of pivotal transformation happening here for you Aries. Okay, I'm actually going to go a little intuitively across the deck here because what I'm really feeling is that this message is about finding deeper fulfillment for you. I've got the Four of Cups here and the Moon. Now the Four of Cups is somebody who has kind of come to a realization that a key situation in their life is not delivering them the amount of emotional fulfillment that they truly desire. I think I'm going to sneeze areas and I do apologize. No, nope, it's gone. <laughs> this hasn't happened on camera before. I may cut it out if it happens. So you realize that something's not cutting it. You're over it. Maybe bored with something, maybe apathetic, maybe complacent. Maybe just realizing that the future that you're wanting doesn't lie in the situation that you're in, in one of those big life areas. And it, that it could have been that this has been kind of bubbling away in your intuition and your subconscious to the point that you can't ignore it anymore. You know, what starts off as a, a small seed, a whisper in your ear, ends up a shout and you're like, wow, I'm actually going to have to make a fundamental change in my life. And it, it feels like no matter how much that situation tries to kind of reel you back in or, or dangle a carrot, it's you've already actually decided you've already retreated your energy and now you're just kind of waiting for your your body to catch up to actually remove yourself physically from that situation so that's what I see here um it could be something about a journey into authenticity like with the moon I just noticed the um the tame dog and the wild wolf which for me stands for our conscious and subconscious the shadow side yeah, and, and, and our conscious awareness and it's almost like you're becoming integrated now you're aligning at a deeper level and when we go through those processes of course we we go through changes in our life too because we're operating from a different frequency we might be realizing that a situation just isn't a fit for us anymore and through that that, that awareness you know through shining the light in, into the shadows you know, we really realize that actually maybe it's a different path that I want to follow now. But the moon is uh, known as a hidden blessing because even though this process might seem like, Ugh, you know, I'm going to have to gonna have to change something up and, and there's going to be some, some difficult moments in order to do that, it's a blessing because, you know, it is aligning you to your truth, to your true path is what I'm feeling here. So... Then we get to judgment time. Judgment and the lovers. Before the lovers was really just a card of karmic partners and, and soulmates and that kind of energy, it was known as the choice. 
you have a big decision around a huge matter of the heart upon you Aries and I keep these really general guys because it is a general reading but this is, this is about you following the path to your personal liberation now judgment says that what the situation whatever the situation is you've reached the the last call in it you know it's like the divine nudge is here trying to get your attention and saying hey it's time to dream the bigger dream see the one two three cups here the bigger manifestation is waiting for you that's the number of the empress she is calling you so with the judgment energy it's like are we going to give this a second chance whatever it is or are we going to roll it over to the world which is the major arcana following this one and the world is the last card which is huge cyclic completion it is a victory it says you've arrived at the end of this karmic contract whatever it is and there's no more to be experienced so it is time to move on because if we stay in it too long then we can end up limiting ourselves holding back our growth hence the black boxes here that these people are launching out of you're probably already feeling like this because there's a sense here that it's past it's used by date so the divine moves in with that whisper in your ear that becomes the shout the strong intuition and says it's time to time to make a decision here judgment is upon you time to liberate yourself yes it feels vulnerable but you know the situation has has reached that point in time because the empress is saying you have an opportunity now Aries to move towards the ten of cups it's maybe not in the situation that you're in because you're feeling like this what you can do is make some big decisions here and then change your course right so the decisions that we make in this present moment that create the future we are creating the future right now and right now we are living the future that we created in the past so the Empress says anything is possible now Aries it is time for you to dream big but not just to dream big but to realize those dreams to make it happen through actually taking the steps of action that you need to we'll get to that that's the Knight of Pentacles the Empress is the energy that actually wants to birth into the physical realm what you desire she is fertile and abundant and wants to do that she can actually stand for fertility and conception if that is a goal of yours the ten of cups is about that best life energy whatever that is for you rainbow of blessings beautiful home family nearby and all of that kind of thing whatever it is that you're trying to create Aries the Empress says anything is possible dream big let's make it happen so she can also be um, a blessing she stands for abundance increase in finances as well but in this case I really feel it's an increase in fulfillment finding that ten of cups um, reality so over here in the outcome position it's interesting um, I'm seeing the the king of cups repeated here is really about Aries it is time for you to follow heart not your head this time around you uh, you know you're ruled by Mars you're ruled by the head you're, you you love to think and analyze and be headstrong and that kind of thing but sometimes we forget about the desires of the heart you know we make the decisions from that you know divine masculine place to get us ahead you know choose the partner that might be the most stable all of these things but the universe is saying this time Aries we want to be living heart-centered choosing from the intuition the new path and all of that and that is how we will actually end up in a place of alignment the Knight of Pentacles says it's time for you to start planting new seeds in a different direction Aries this is about laying a new foundation and taking the steps now putting the plan in place now to like we said before to change our future reality to gain an abundant harvest or crop in the next season here so the Knight of Pentacles says you know what you are on the right track here uh, good things can take time we want to be patient the Knight of Pentacles is known to be the slowest moving night energy in the um, tarot but all the Knights are messengers of opportunity and the Knight of Pentacles already says that you know once you've gone through this process that you, you probably will start to see the seeds of your success and tangible achievement pretty quickly but to get to the full realization might take a little bit of time put a plan in place take practical methodical efficient steps towards it the two of cups here for me says for some of you that are, that are planning to 
you know, or your goal is to come together with a soul partner, whether that is in love, that person that you got the perfect collaboration with in business or a key friendship, that is, you know, definitely possible for some of you as well. I feel that this is an indication of harmony and, you know, fulfillment through connection with people, just a greater um, sense of fulfillment that you will achieve when you start to move into alignment, when you go through this metamorphosis that you are going through, then it's like everything just falls into place. You attract the right people, you attract the right opportunities. You are now able to actually realize your dreams. It's like everything is just flowing here. Just keep in mind that your spirit team may be near. Pay attention to the signs that you see, keeping in mind that spirit talks to us in the subtleties areas. It's not just like a, a lightning bolt from the sky. It can be, you know, that song that's playing in the cafe that answers our question, the number plate that's meaningful for us, the angel numbers and so forth. So Aries, I'm going to leave it here and I do hope you enjoyed this reading for the week. Keep in mind it's a general reading, sometimes it resonates, sometimes it doesn't and that's okay, it just means it's not your, your reading this week. I feel that we resonate with a reader for a period of time when we're meant for that message and then sometimes we might fall out of alignment with it. That's my experience of watching um, readers on YouTube and yeah, that's totally fine for me because I feel like that is how it works. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment. I do read them all guys and try to respond to as many as I can. Helps me get to know you, connect with your energy, see what's happening out there for us all in the collective. Aries, it's been a pleasure once again. See you back here for another one next week. Bye for now. We'll